If it fails in the Senate, it dies. But if the Senate changes it, any of those changes has to come back to the House. So we have another bite at the apple here. And more people who learn about this. That was my point. I want people to know what's in the bill. I want people to know what they are doing, that this mm. big government socialism isn't working. That was House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy on this program last month on the fate of Biden's tax and spend plan. Democrats are hoping to put the $4.9 trillion spending bill back in focus this upcoming week. Now that the government has been funded until February 2022, they will also try to address the debt limit and the National Defense Authorization Act with China policy by year end. Louisiana Senator John Kennedy sits on the Senate Budget, Banking and Judiciary Committees. And Senator, it's wonderful to have you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. Mm -hmm. Can you kick us off with the number of legislative days you have left? What are you expecting to get done before year end? Well, Senator Schumer determines the number of days we have left, but basically we have until the end of the year. Uh, if your question is, will Bill Back Better be brought before the Senate? I, I, I think only Joe Manchin knows the answer to that, and perhaps uh, Senator Sinema. I think um, Senator Manchin understands Maria in his heart that this is a bad bill, bad social policy, bad economic policy. When, when I first heard about the Build Back Better bill, I thought to myself, you know, this is satire, right? And, and then I took a look at it, and, and I was amazed beyond imagination. I mean, it's breathtaking. Uh, trillions of dollars of new spending, new taxes, new debt, new welfare programs. The only way I know how to improve it is is with a shredder. Um, it's going to fuel inflation. Uh, when a hot pocket costs you $10, remember, we're building back better. Uh, a, new, a new welfare program for illegal immigrants, amnesty for illegal immigrants, federal takeover of early childhood education and child care. Eventually, the federal government is want, going to want to control what they teach your kids. At least in the short term, a dramatic rise in the cost of child care. For example, in 2022, if the bill passes, if uh, a couple are making together $70,000 a year, you know what the cost for child care is going to be for them? $29,000. That's out of pocket. Wow. Twin and that's for one child. Um, if you, you know If you have two, who can afford that? I mean, people don't realize what's in this bill. I'm glad you just des described it that way, federal takeover of child care. You also have this element in it where Democrat spending bill puts three million illegal immigrants uh, on the path to citizenship. And the cost, Maya McGinnis told me from the Committee for a Responsible Budget, that it's actually $4.9 trillion, not the $1.75 trillion that they're advertising. So how is it possible that Treasury Secretary Yellen since it's fully paid for, and Joe Biden keeps saying that it pays and that it, that it costs nothing. Well, Secretary Yellen's wrong, and uh, so is President Biden. Th this bill is going to add billions of dollars in new debt. We haven't talked much about the new taxes. Uh, you know, President Biden, he whispers to the American people, pay your fair share. But he never bothers to answer the question is, wh of uh, what is your fair share of what somebody else has worked for? We've never had that discussion. Um, the Build Back Better bill just, just takes Marxist class analysis and uses it to redistribute wealth in a way that I think is going to irreparably damage the American people. Well, Senator, many people are upset with your Senate colleagues. I mean, are we here at this place right now because of the 19 Republicans who went along with Democrats to vote for the infrastructure bill? Is that why we're here right now talking about all of these high taxes to come to hit us in 2022? Well, Maria, I, I, I don't generally tell my colleagues how to vote. If they ask me, I tell them, I'll give them my opinion, but I generally close with, with by saying, you know, follow your heart, but just make sure you take your brain with you. I didn't vote for the infrastructure bill. 
Um, I thought it would make it easier to pass this bill back better spending orgy. Uh, I didn't vote for the infrastructure bill because only 23% of it went to, in, went to infrastructure. And, and I wasn't going to spend taxpayer money to buy a car to get the cup holders. But in my judgment, there's no question that the fake infrastructure bill has made it easier to pass the Build Back Better bill. But, it's, but the Build Back Better bill, uh, which I think I've made pretty clear, I think is, is, uh, is craptastic, uh, hasn't passed yet. And whether it passes, I think, is going to be determined by uh, Senator Manchin and to some extent Senator Sinema. Some of my colleagues think the other, my other Democratic friends in the Senate are going to object, but I, I, I don't, I don't think so. I think they've been, they've been hit with everything but a chair and they've, they've, uh, uh given in. You know, part of the, the the issue here is that we don't know who's running things. I mean, look at the uh, the approval ratings of Joe Biden and how he's handling the job as president. They have plummeted. We have a new Trafalgar uh, poll that says only 18 percent of people strongly approve or approve. You've got 52.2 percent of those people strongly disapproving of Joe Biden's handling uh, uh, of being president. And of course, partly it's these nominees. Let me roll a soundbite of you questioning one of his radical nominees. This is Saleh Omarova, his nominee for comptroller of the currency, which you were great with. Watch this. In 2020, he wrote another paper called The Climate Case for a National Investment Authority where you said what we need to do, the oil and gas industry, is have the federal government bankrupt them so we can tackle climate change. You have the right to believe every one of these things. You do. This is America. But I don't mean any disrespect. I, I don't know whether to call you professor or comrade. Senator, your thoughts on who gets through, who passes Senate confirmation? Uh, he's also obviously nominated uh, Jay Powell and Lyle Brainerd for the chairman and uh, vice chairman of the Federal Reserve. Well, I support Chairman Powell, but as to the president's other nominees, I think they are one of the reasons that President Biden's poll numbers are on a journey to the center of the earth. Um, you know, be yourself is the worst advice you can give some people. And so many of President Biden's nominees are, are just barking mad. They're, they're crypto socialists. They're, they're fanatical. I, I mean, if you ask them to consider another point of view, their neck veins bulge and, um, and they call you a Nazi or, or a racist. Uh, we try to question them in committee, but they don't answer the questions. They just refer you, excuse my language, they just refer you to bullshit.com. Um, yeah. They don't seem to, many of them don't like America. They don't seem to. They, they, uh, they feel contempt for America. They should feel gratitude. Yeah. Um, Senator, and and I, I think that, I'm sorry. Yep. Go ahead. No, I just real real quick before you go, I've got to get your take. Do you believe Russia will invade Ukraine? A lot of worry bubbling up now that Russian troops have built up near the Ukraine border, uh, raising uh, the worry of an invasion in 2022. China is rising. Our adversaries are smelling weakness. Well, weakness invites the wolves. Russia won't invade if President Biden and the Congress make it clear that there will be serious consequences if Russia does. What the president needs to do tomorrow, tomorrow, is sanction the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Um, if you do that, we'll get China, uh, we'll get uh, Russia down and then we can choke them. Senator, it's great to have you. We will be watching whether or not there are sanctions coming, actually. Senator, thank you so much. John Kennedy joining us this morning. We'll see you soon. Have a happy holiday, sir. You too.